Hello and welcome back for another YouTube video. It is me, your boy, Young One Fourteen here. And real quick, before we start any of this video, I want to say thank you for two thousand subs. And I really wanted to celebrate it on live, but I've been banned from live ever since I hit a thousand for copyright or something like that. I can't get it unbanned, so one day I hope I can get unbanned from going uh, going live, and I can go live uh, because I really do like going live. And my gift to y'all for helping me reach up to 2,000, I'm going to do a really fun reaction video. Um, this one I haven't seen yet. It's the same thing we did uh, a couple days ago. But this one, uh, I think this one's a little bit longer and a little bit better. So, um, yeah, I mean, let's get right into the reaction video. Roll that intro. Okay, so I know my voice is going to sound like a robot to y'all. Um, no, it's not going to do that. But this is going to work a lot better. Let me turn this up for you if it's not up already. It's already up already. So I'm going to turn this up on full speed. Let's go. Now y'all can hear me a little better. Now I'm ten times louder. And so now, let's get right into this video. The story of when I wish I didn't try to help her. So I'm on my way to my girlfriend, Anastasia's place, and I'm walking, right? But then, I hear this girl scream. Sounds like she's in danger. So I run up the street, looking left, right, and there, around the corner. This guy is creeping on this girl. It's too dark to see their faces, but something tells me he doesn't have good intentions. I look around and looks like I'm the only one here. If I don't do something, nobody will. So I'm like, yo, seems like they didn't hear me. So I start walking towards them. You good? Then. Okay, well that confirms it. I run towards them. As I get closer, I can see them more clearly. Then, I notice the girl, oh no, it's Cassie. My brother's crazy ex-girlfriend, who also happens to be obsessed with me. But what's she doing here? Suddenly, the guy pulls up behind me and puts me in a sleeper. I try and resist, but it's too late. He caught me off guard. I start getting sleepy. I pull out my iPhone, but my hand's already weak. I drop it. Relax, babe. It'll, It'll all be, be over, over soon. soon. This is it for me. <sighs> I should have known I'd be seeing her again. I mean, I was just trying to be a good citizen. You know, I didn't know I was going to get ambushed. Anyway, I'll show you all what you talk about in the next Anastasia, video. So go, go ahead and give this video a big fat thumbs up. And no, I'll see you all in the next video, she starts okay? Getting and checks my location. Then, there, she finds the alleyway. It's only a couple blocks away. So Anastasia leaves her place and starts walking down the street. Then she notices, a couple blocks down, I'm looking into an alleyway. Steven! I don't hear her. So she starts jogging towards me, but I walk into the alleyway. Weird. She runs faster. But then when she gets there and turns the corner, she sees a man and a woman toss me into a white van. Hey, stop! Anastasia runs towards the van, but it's too late. They escape. So she did what anyone would do. She called the cops, but they weren't very helpful. What do you mean you can't do anything? I'm sorry, we need evidence before we can start any kind of investigation. Ugh. Suddenly, Anastasia notices something. Okay, thanks anyways. She hangs up. It's my iPhone. She picks it up and unlocks it. Then... That's it. Okay, now she knows what one of the crooks looks like. But how does she find him? 
Wait a second. His name is Marvin Ross. He's a real estate agent for the area. There doesn't seem to be anything useful on his website. <laughs> Other than how he likes to go for ice cream at Ronnie's once in a while. I mean, might as well check it out. We're here. Anastasia gets out of the Uber and walks towards the shop. Weird place for an ice cream shop. She peeks inside. Yeah, what the? Weird. Looks like nobody's been in here in ages. Can I help you? She looks up and it's Cassie. Yeah, so Anastasia didn't recognize Cassie because I kind of never told Anastasia about Cassie. My bad. I was just wondering. We're closed. Oh, you work here? No, I uh, live in the area. Okay, thanks. Anastasia walks away. She looks back and notices Cassie's just watching, making sure she leaves. Then, <gasps> the white van! It's parked on the side of the road. As she walks by, Anastasia looks inside and it's empty. Yeah, something's definitely not right. After she turns the corner, Anastasia hides behind the wall. She waits for Cassie to turn around. Then, she runs back towards Ronnie's. Cassie goes around to the back, then down a flight of stairs and into a door. <laughs> Anastasia waits until the last second, then runs down and stops the door from closing. She peeks inside. It's clear. Anastasia carefully makes her way inside. It's super dark, and there are like torches on stone walls. Medieval dungeon vibes. Then. Anastasia hears people. She follows the sounds to a room. She looks inside and there. She sees me chained up against the wall. Without thinking twice, Anastasia charges inside. Steven, are you okay? But I look up at her and I'm like, oh no. That's because she just walked right into a trap. Anastasia looks around and we're completely surrounded. Who are you? <laughs> it is so bad. On the road with T-Mobile 5G. One of them walks forward and it's a woman. This is my gift for you helping first. me reach up to 2,000 subs. Head of the sisterhood and these are my pets. So I'll ask one more time. Who I had to turn it up for y'all a little bit. I gotta give Anastasia credit for this one. She got put on the spot and she came through. I wasn't too happy with it, but you know, gotta give credit where it's due. I'm Anastasia, and he's uh my pet, and I'm here to take this him back. Victoria you. looks skeptical, but then. I'm sorry about that. We'll give him right back to you. One of the men walks up Here's and unlocks gift. my chains. As soon as I get For down, 2, I'm like, great, so. let's get the hell out of here. You're going to let your pet talk to you like that? Anastasia gives me a look and then slaps me out of nowhere. Ow. Well done. Now, let's head over to the party. We didn't really have a choice except to go along with it. But I was hella uncomfortable and I needed answers. So we're following Victoria and her pet down this long and dark hallway. I nudge Anastasia and I'm like, ask her. So um, I'm new to the sisterhood and I was wondering if you could give me like a quick intro. Victoria observes Anastasia for a moment. Then she's like, we're here. The Sisterhood is a secret society that's been around since before me, and it will be around after I'm gone. We're women that believe that men are inferior, so we'll make them our pets with hypnosis. Hello, sisters. Thanks for coming tonight. We have a lot to talk about. I'm trying to signal Anastasia. This video is like, about sexism. Trust her. She's bad. 
What? Oh, you're friends with Steven? Uh, did she just say what I think she said? Yes. Can you help us escape? Yeah, no worries, hon. You're just gonna have to tell everyone here that you're giving the ownership of your pet to me. <gasps> so, I got two options, right? One, I stay quiet, and my girlfriend literally gives me to a crazy girl. Or two, I speak up and it's GG for both of us. Hmm, what about option three? I drop down onto the ground and start coughing like crazy. The room goes dead quiet. What's wrong with him? I don't that know. That one hundred one. He doesn't want it. He's okay. Just slip. I start coughing louder. Both the woman at the table and the men who shit. are standing behind them start covering their mouths. What are you waiting for? Get him out of here. Anastasia helps me up. Yes, ma'am. We start walking out, but then... He's faking it! She's not really our sister, and he's not really her pet! Everybody turns towards me and Anastasia. We gotta do something fast, or this is it for us. I look around, then... That's it! I have an idea. I whisper it to Anastasia, then... RUN! I run for the exit, but before I even get close... I'm tackled by like three of the pets. <laughs> it worked. I look back and Anastasia runs straight at Victoria and tackles her to the floor. Her necklace hits the ground and shatters. Then all of the pets start waking up from their hypnosis. Where am I? What have you done? Victoria? In the middle of all the chaos, me and Anastasia sneak away. Then, we run back through the hallway and up the stairs. Yes, we made it out. But before we can even catch our breath, I look up and Cassie is running straight at us. Oh, dang. That's my move. So if you enjoyed this video, give this video a big fat thumbs up and also here is his um I'm guessing this is Instagram. Go follow him. That's his stuff. Um thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a big fat thumbs up. Please subscribe and please hit that bell for more videos. Like this. I never live a far. One of my mom with a keep in town, keep it round with a fifth in mouth, fifth in mouth.